Now, what a year 2010 was for our final guest. Not only did she take part in the massively successful X Factor tour, but she went on to be crowned Queen of the Jungle in I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. So it seemed wholly appropriate that she should open the show at this week's National Television Awards. Oh, she's twisting our melons. It's Stacey yeah. Solomon! Yeah. The NTA stay. I know. And I was. I was a. No, you did I'm good. Did the girl do good? You're all embarrassed to go up to people, whereas I'm like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a picture? I saw oh, the in between us. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> 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 You look so confident up there on the stage. Oh. You not nervous at all? I was so nervous, but Were I just... You? I thought, oh, I've got to get over it now, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I did the tour. How many times you were on the stage? Three times or something, weren't yeah. you? Singing, um, yeah. singing and... <laughs> could have get enough of it, couldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to see you singing, though, because that's... Oh. You're a brilliant singer. I was so happy to sing. I get to do, like... I get to travel the country and do gigs and stuff, and so to do it in front of people, I was like, yes, <laughs> that's so a cool. big venue as well and a very <laughs> scary room to work. What are you laughing, Sherry? <laughs> this makes me actually... Uh, everybody should, should have one of her, should they, at home? <laughs> <laughs> she just makes you feel so happy. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you feel the vibes when you, you, you are out and about, the, the, the goodwill towards you, the fact that people do genuinely love you to pieces? Um, I'll make the most just in case one day I walk out the door and they're like... <laughs> 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 but people are really, really nice. I'm, I'm so lucky cos I don't get mobbed or anything like that. People are just like, well done, I think I'll paint. Oh. <laughs> you really... Carry on being yourself and you can't go wrong, really. Can't go oh. wrong. Oh, don't. Touch wood. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> anything can happen. <laughs> it's like nothing can change you. You've had these amazing experiences. What, why, why do you think that is that you've just kept your feet on uh... the ground so much? I think most people do that. I think it's it's wow. a bit... Well, to be honest, the people I've met, I think, are genuinely always lovely. And I think if you are normal and if you've got a normal family and a normal life, it's not like I go home and I've got, like, a mansion or something <laughs> and I go back to, like, I don't know, like, gold seats or whatever. <laughs> Every, do you know what I mean? Like, people yeah. expect people to, like, have a completely different life and mm. I don't. It's exactly the same. Still got the same friends, same family, same boyfriend. Do you know what I mean? Everything's the same. But when you were in the jungle, we did see a difference, Stacey, though, I have to say. <gasps> You were very the you were very one different. who doesn't wear makeup. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, were very, you were very calm and, and you know, you, no nerves. So we saw somebody very else. Very you were. You were, um, really. Do you know what? I, I really, really. Before I went in, I literally watched every single YouTube like video of trials. I was like, you need to know this. You need to know what yes, you're going into. Yeah. Well, I wish Ginny McKeith had yeah. followed in your footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> of course she did. Yeah. Now, I, before we go any further, there was one moment that was my absolute favourite, and I hope you don't mind me bringing this up, but we all commented on it at the time. But when you came out of the jungle, you know when you go across the bridge, most people love that moment with the, with the flash bulbs, but you ran past all the photographers, you ignored everyone, because oh. there was one little man that you were desperate yeah. to get your hands on, and that was your I got in so much trouble for that. They were like, you need to come back to the bridge. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like no, <laughs> three weeks without this man, I can't do it. And I was squeezing him and the poor boy, traumatised, he was like, who are you again? Oh, <laughs> oh, this, oh, you I was like, Drag. He was like, uh, <laughs> get away from me, Mum. Did he say to you, oh, you stink, Mum? No, that was my boyfriend. <laughs> 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 I can't do it even there's me like laughing like, like well, was that the oh, hardest God. part for you missing your son like that oh it was do you know what I say it was but then I watched the video when he home called me I was like mum I've been with the koala bear swimming with dolphins I thought great so, <laughs> I'm in here eating God knows what <laughs> and you're having the time of your life without me <laughs> now you formed a nice little friendship with Sean Ryder haven't yeah. you because everywhere oh. everywhere he is you are oh I I love him to pieces. I think when you meet someone who is completely normal like you and reminds you of home when you're so, so far away... It's Do you think Sean's completely thing. normal? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's, everyone's got their flaws. <laughs> no one's perfect. But he, he is what I would call a genuine person. Like, whether, whatever he's done or whoever he is, he is him. Yeah. Like, and no-one's going to change that about him. Exactly. And he was very kind in there as well, wasn't he? He was, and I remember... Not to Gillian. <laughs> well, no, but... Fair, fair dues, do you know what I mean? <laughs> he got bit by that snake. Oh, my, what a legend. Know, yeah. My God, right, yeah. we're next to each other and these things can't see each other. All I can hear is... Ah, like, I had, uh, and I was like, oh, my God, what is happening? And then he went, if she has to put 
put our hand in that box. I was like, what is it? What is in that box? I was going crazy. They bring the box over. I'm like, I want to put my hand in. He's told me not to put my hand in. Please, they were like, we've changed it. I was like, Oh, you still got the black beetles that were biting you. I know, well, they, well, they, they kiss and everything. Oh, God, I don't know where they get them things from. But anyway, <laughs> so he said, if, if she has to put her hand in that box, I'll leave the show. Like, he was so genuinely, oh, like, yeah. caring. Oh. He said, I will leave the show, like, if she has to put her hand in there. And I thought, how difficult. oh, my God, it must be so bad. Oh. <laughs> in the but, I mean, last year, you, you couldn't really top. So what are your expectations or your hopes for this year? Um... Well, I don't know. I don't know what you mean by top. Like, I honestly think as long as I'm alive and I'm happy, like, you can't top it, can you? God, like... <laughs> very, very soon. Very soon. I'm, I want to work really, really hard and I want to do the things I love. I want to get in the studio and I want to... I want to... don't know, you know, like, I want to be... Successful as I can. You deserve to be successful. She's yeah. so so oh, lovely. I want to kiss you. Yeah. <laughs> Feel free. Really? Come here. Yeah. Oh, she the gorgeous. <laughs> Daisy Sullivan, everyone. Oh, thank you, Daisy. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm gonna eat her. <laughs> A little Stacey sandwich <laughs> next week.